Hello everyone, Katherine Keller here. As most of you know, I have been gone for the past week. I actually was in Jamaica <clears throat> for my sister's wedding and um, you guys have been asking for pictures so I thought I would just put together a little shy slideshow. It might be the quickest way to show you. Um, and I literally have thousands of pictures um, my family could we are the paparazzi and so I have <laughs> I promise you I do not have a thousand pictures on this video I've, I've brought it down to somewhere around 30 I think so um, these, this is the highlights reel and uh, this is me looking exhausted this is after a very very long day of traveling and making it finally to Jamaica um, on the bus going to our resort so I have a smile but my eyes are definitely tired this is uh, just traveling on the bus from the airport to the resort and I just it was um, Sandy had just gone through Hurricane Sandy and so uh, it was still a rainy um, and there was still some damage that they were cleaning up but I thought this was absolutely gorgeous um, with the clouds in the mountains uh, this is the resort, and you can see the clouds lifted. It's beautiful. I love it. It had two infinity pools with a little um, uh, poolside bar there, so it was all inclusive. I ate, I drank, and then I ate some more, and then I slept. It was just perfect. Um, this is overlooking the beach on the resort with the little tiki huts. Um, this is the infinity pool, which is just absolutely cool to look at. And being a photographer, I play, I have probably 50 pictures of just the infinity pool. So, um, this was the pier off the beach, which we got to take some wedding photos on that. So I'm sure there's a lot of wedding photos. I haven't even begun to go through all of them, but there's some really good ones on there. Okay, so the waiters and waitresses at this resort were above and beyond phenomenal, um, and this was one of my favorite guys. He served all the drinks on his head. A lot of the bartenders served it like that as well, and when I asked him if he thought I could do it, he said, no, my head wasn't flat enough. Well, I don't take challenges very well so <clears throat> I had to put one on my head I walked around the entire restaurant got an applause from the entire restaurant did not spill a drop of my water thank you very much so I'm going to work up to laundry baskets next I'm going to start taking my laundry back up and down the stairs on my head <laughs> maybe not uh, this is my sister and I still kind of jet lagged but getting ready to go shopping it's adorable, yes. All right, so we went to the craft market, <clears throat> which was a slightly frightening place. They are very, very pushy um, because they are very competitive. They all carry uh, very similar merchandise. They pay $200 a month, U.S. dollars, for an 8 foot by 10 foot little closet. That's their store. Um, this you can see a woman over here with her baskets um, making they, they buy the baskets they don't make them there but then they add all the decoration with ribbons and things like that this is Pita Shea. Pita Shea was one of the daughters of a store owner she's one years old and I love babies for anybody that's a friend or family member knows that I love babies. I hold them. I will not put them down until the mother makes me put them down. And this was no exception. Um, I held Peter Shea. They let me walk around with her the entire time we were at the craft market. It was the highlight of my day um, because she was just so adorable. If I could have wrapped her up and put her in my pocket and brought her home, I I absolutely would have wouldn't have thought twice about it she's just a gorgeous fun little girl and we had a good time we became best buds you can see me there um, in the middle walking around with her in my arms of course talking with the ladies that's my sister with the water bottle and then my mom with the blonde hair in front of her and um, because I like to talk to people we I spent less time shopping and more time finding out information about 
um, their life and them uh, how they work and you know the hour long plus bus ride that they have to take each way um, to work every day it was just um, those types of stories are very fascinating to me this is Millie uh, Millie was one of my favorite shop owners just because she was just feisty and uh, I love her at one point I said Millie I absolutely adore you and she said oh baby girl I love you too um, she's just kind of your motherly uh, woman and and uh, so we we had a great time with Millie we got back and the steel band was on steel drum band was on the beach in Jamaica we had two choices we had to listen to steel drum bands or we had to listen to Bob Marley <laughs> I told my sister at one point if I never hear a Bob Marley song again I think I'll be okay because literally that's all we listen to this is the wedding rehearsal and I'm sharing these pictures because this is the most casual wedding rehearsal I've ever been I've never worn a bikini to a wedding rehearsal before um, but we were all in our swimsuits. We had a drink in our hand. Um, it was just kind of like, let's get on the beach. Let's talk it out. All right, let's move on. Let's go swimming. This is me rocking it out right there in my bikini in my uh, sister's wedding rehearsal. Uh, this was the sunset, uh, the pool, this is the view actually from my room at sunset, and uh, the gorgeous pool and the poolside bar and all of that. Um, for the rehearsal dinner, we went to a Japanese steakhouse, and uh, this guy was absolutely fabulous. I've never had Japanese uh, steakhouse chef with a Jamaican accent before, but he was uh, very entertaining. As you can see, my face there, I just uh, stared the whole time, and it was a it was a nice little show he put on. That's my aunt and my dad as well <clears throat> sitting there with me. The next day, my brother and I went snorkeling. There's just uh, no really good pictures of snorkeling because you cannot look pretty while you're snorkeling. These are two, two of the wait staff that I became best friends with. This uh, lady here on the left, her name is Cordelia. This girl would find me anytime I was outside, whether I was at the pool, whether I was at the beach. She would come find me, make sure I had everything I needed. This over here is Travis on the right. In anytime I was indoors eating, um, he was the guy. He remembered every day what I like to drink for breakfast dinner didn't matter he was a superstar and um, they were both just fabulous so the point of the whole trip was the wedding and they did actually get married and um, it was a gorgeous gorgeous wedding like I said there's there's thousands of pictures I haven't gone through all of them yet so this is the only one I included of the wedding but we took a lot of pictures and I get bored <laughs> with pictures so I started doing fun pictures um, and you can see I make a lot of faces when I'm bored apparently <clears throat> so this was after the wedding while we were waiting for all the pictures to get taken um, after that we had a bonfire reception on the beach which was fabulous until the poor groom got um, snatched up by my brother and his best friend to be dumped into the water. He put up a good fight, but they eventually got him in the water. So um, I guess it's a guy thing. I don't know. Uh, next day, beautiful, gorgeous day. Um, so it was time to get outdoors, and um, we went scuba diving as you can see there is just no sexy way to take a picture of your scuba diving uh, scuba instructor was from Turkey so again I spent a lot of time and my brother spent a lot of time talking with him and finding out about his culture and how he made it to Jamaica um, this is a up on the mountain overlooking Montego Bay and of course I always have my camera in my hand so that's me taking pictures of uh, Montego Bay. Absolutely gorgeous day. Perfect for uh, those pictures. 
Then a safari was taken, and it was um, it was amazing. I was in this open jeep and um, going up into the jungle, and got some amazing photos on the way. This was some school kids out in the country uh, getting out of school. They all wear uniforms in Jamaica. And this was a church built in 1847 that still is used today. Um, the same Bible, the same pews. It was amazing. I got to go in and tour that. And then this is just a view of the countryside going into the jungle. Here is one of my favorite pictures from the jungle. I loved it, loved it. We couldn't stay long because the mosquitoes were um, overwhelming. I, I mean, you would have 20 on each leg. Um, <clears throat> but we did stay long enough where I could get a couple of snapshots. And um, here is a couple more. These uh, huge, you can't get uh, quite the scope of how large these bamboo stalks are but I'm five six and um, so I, I would I don't know 20 feet I would guess maybe more 30 and um, this on the right hand side is me eating orange uh, straight out of the jungle so that we peeled and had a snack and then finally the um, sun setting over Montego Bay one of my favorite sunset photos we took of the trip so that is my Jamaica trip in a nutshell I'm sure I'll be posting more uh, as I actually have time to take a look at them and adjust them but thank you guys so much for the letters that I received while I was gone and the well wishes for a safe trip and um, and congratulations to my sister so thank you guys for watching the video and I will be talking with you soon